Now to the COVID emergency and the race to vaccinate America. FEMA now planning to open a total of seven mass vaccination sites by next week. So far, nearly 40 million Americans have received at least one dose. That is 12% of the population. But this morning, there are new concerns for parents over a rare condition linked to COVID. Stephanie Ramos is tracking it all at a vaccination site here in New York City. Good morning, Stephanie. Michael, good morning. We are here at one of New York's mega vaccination sites. This area here is where people will check in for the vaccine today. And you can see soldiers also uh, behind me ready to do temperature checks. Thousands of people expected to get their vaccine here today. It's one of the reasons we're seeing those encouraging drops in COVID cases and hospitalizations nationwide. But we are seeing a concerning uptick in cases of that rare COVID linked condition in children, parents and doctors almost a year later still puzzled by the syndrome. This morning, cases of that rare multi-system inflammatory syndrome, also known as MISC, found in children after they've been exposed to COVID are on the rise in some communities. In Massachusetts, the Moran family grateful their five-year-old little girl Vera is back home recovering from MISC after spending eight days in the hospital. Just a few weeks earlier, Vera and her family overcoming COVID. It felt like kind of two steps forward, one step back every day it was incredibly scary. Vera started showing MISC symptoms, a high fever and rash. We were scared to death of every new thing that arose and everything they were telling us. Children who are diagnosed with the syndrome can experience inflammation in their heart, lungs, brain and other vital organs. Hospitals across the country are seeing an uptick in these cases. LA County alone seeing a more than 35% increase in MISC cases in the last two weeks. Since May, more than 2000 cases have been reported and 30 children have died. Doctors stress, however, the syndrome is rare. Around 3 million kids have been confirmed to have COVID-19 in the United States and only a little over 2,000 kids have had this mysterious inflammatory syndrome. As for Vera, she's on the mend. Doctors regularly checking her heart and inflammation in her body. We've had to take everything day by day. How long are we going to monitor her? We don't necessarily have the answers to that right now because we haven't gotten that far. So many families left wondering how this syndrome will affect their child in the long term. Doctors advising parents to be on the lookout for those symptoms, the high fever, the rash and shortness of breath. Take your child to the doctor immediately if you see any of those symptoms, especially if they've had COVID. Michael. All right, Stephanie. And you know, Stephanie, the White House said they want to boost the vaccine rollout even further by sending out even more doses. Exactly. The White House says they plan on increasing those COVID vaccine doses to states to 13.5 million. That is up from 11 million last week. They're, they also say that they're planning on doubling the supply of weekly doses to pharmacies up to 2 million. Michael. All right, Stephanie, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.